Thank you so much for joining me on the Just Talk with Rachel Nekati. And today, let's talk about the past. Why do we sometimes find ourselves so attached to what happened to us in the past? Why is it that we are finding it difficult to let go? Even if the experience is painful, we still find ourselves wanting and needing to identify ourselves with that particular past. One of the reasons why we find it difficult to let go is because we do not want uncertainty. Because letting go of the past means that you need to step into the unknown. You need to experience the new you. And therefore, you are finding it hard to leave your old identity, to leave your own pain that you went through. And you always feel the comfort of identifying, of holding on, and even being a valid victim with a victim story. Does that make you happy? Does it make you happy to always be a victim, to always be that person who things happen to? People are doing this to me. People have done this to me. My boss is doing this to me. My kids are doing this to me. My marriage is doing this to me. Does it make you happy? Why are you making the past your identity? The fact that you have gone through a situation does not make you the story. You have a story, you are not the story. It's important to differentiate our identity from what is happening around us. Remember, you've got no control over what happens outside you. You have got no control over what people do to you. However, you've got control over how you respond. You've got control over what you decide to do with that which you went through. What I find very interesting about the past is, the past always leaves you a better person. You will not be where you are if it wasn't for what you have gone through. Whatever you have gone through has contributed to your personal growth, has contributed to your personal development. Instead of sitting down and worrying and playing the tape of the past, the pain that you went through, try and look at the learnings. What have you learned about yourself? What have you learned about the situation? What have you learned about the people? What is it that you're gonna do differently? What is it that you are going to allow? What is it that you are not going to allow? Use the past as data that you need to plan how you want to live your life going forward. If there's one thing that you need to appreciate is the experiences that have brought you where you are, is the learnings that you have gotten because life is full of learnings. It's up to you to look at it as a bad story, which justifies your current negative outlook, or it is something that could make you a better person. Do you want to grow from the experience or you want to be a seasoned victim with a victim story, going through an experience is not your identity, but rather it is a scar. And that scar, you can hold it with pride. Yes, I went through it and I am a victim. I'm not a victim, I am a victor. Turn your lemons into lemonade. Turn your pain into power. The past is done. The past remains in the past. What you have right now is the present. 
That is why it's called the present. It's a present. How are you living your life now? Are you still stuck? Or are you cheating your present with your past? If you do not live your present in a way that is aligned with the future vision of yourself, you are still going to be stuck where you are in future. Remember, the decisions that you are making now will have an impact in how your life unfolds in future. You are where you are because of the decisions that you've made or the circumstances that you went through in the past. If you want a different future, if you want a different tomorrow, you need to ensure that you take control of your now. Your present is all you have. So it's either you live your present in a way that is aligned with your values and your goals. It's either you live your present in a way that is aligned with a future vision of yourself or else you will find yourself where you are today. Let us move out of victim stories. The past is gone. Plan your future by choosing to live your present in a way that is aligned with that future vision of you. This is your time to just shift and let the past be the past. Embrace the new you, embrace who you are and celebrate the successes you've had to date. You are a victor. You are not a victim. Well, please share this video with others as we embark on this journey of just shifting and becoming the best version of ourselves. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Rachel McCarthy and I'm your life coach.